Now, in a lot of the lessons that I've been giving online, you can see a lot of the players, the head motion works too far forward. And frankly, it's too far forward the whole time, usually. If I work with 10 people who are struggling with distance, they feel like they're really swinging hard, but the ball's not going anywhere. Nine out of 10 times, their head's either too forward to start with, too forward on the way back, or too forward on the way down. Now, how I would fix this is with an object over my right shoulder or just behind my head. I know a lot of people who come in and see me that have these swing faults that if they could just move a little bit better, right? If they had more flexibility, more mobility, we could get a lot of work done a lot faster, but I haven't been able to find an easy way to do it until I saw this Mobility Pro. And what it gives you is a detailed, customized, personalized plan right for you. So once you go through the testing, it tells you specifically what to do. I love that. It's easy to do. I did all this right from the comfort of my own home. Simple little, I did 15 to 20 minute sessions. You could do as long or as short as, as you want to, but you can do hours of mobility, right? It's just a couple of minutes, super easy. It's things that are gonna affect your ability to swing the club better, right? So a lot of those nagging swing faults, there could be a lot of reasons outside of just your golf swing as to why you're doing it. It's how your body and your brain are putting together how you can work. So if you're interested in swinging the club better, improving your swing, something you can do that's easy, something you can do right at the comfort of your home, and it's free to try, then I would try out this Mobility Pro app. I've been using, you can see my score when I started, in literally a month, I went from that 76 to that 93. So I absolutely love this Mobility Pro. I've been using it myself. I highly, highly recommend that you try it as well. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to hit your driver much farther with much less effort. So let's hop up to the golf ball. There's a little three-part uh, drill practice routine feel that I've been using a lot in my in-person lessons, and I wanted to show you an easy way that you can practice it. The three parts are like this. The simple take-home sentence to think about is the best drivers of the golf ball and how you could hit the ball the farthest with the least amount of effort is by having your head more behind the golf ball. What good drivers of the ball do is this. They start with their head behind the golf ball at setup. They keep their head behind the golf ball during the backswing or even increase it a little. And then the biggest thing is then they keep their head behind the ball on their way through. Now, why is keeping your head behind the ball gonna make you hit it farther with less, uh, with less effort? The answer is, angle of attack. We know based on TrackMan numbers that the more that you're able to hit up on the golf ball and still hit the ball solid, the farther it's going to go given your club head speed. That means if you swing the club 100 miles an hour and on swing one you swing down on it quite a bit and on swing two still at 100 miles an hour you swing up quite a bit, you could quite literally hit the ball 20, 30, etc. yards farther without swinging any harder. Now, how you learn to hit up on it is by keeping your head back. And it's those three key areas. It's setting up with the head back, it's keeping or increasing the head back on the way back, and it's keeping your head back on the way down. And we'll show you a couple examples. There's some really good ones of Justin Thomas, Tiger Woods, Rory McIlroy, et cetera, doing these same moves. Now, in a lot of the lessons that I've been giving online, you can see a lot of the players, the head motion, works too far forward. And frankly, it's too far forward the whole time, usually. If I work with 10 people who are struggling with distance, they feel like they're really swinging hard, but the ball's not going anywhere. Nine out of 10 times, their head's either too forward to start with, too forward on the way back, or too forward on the way down. Now, how I would fix this is with an object over my right shoulder or just behind my head. Now, I've got the advantage of I have a little pool noodle here, but you can just take like two alignment rods, duct tape them together, put it through your golf bag, or put an object just behind your head at the setup position. I would put it a couple of inches, you know, a hand width or so away from your, kind of over your right shoulder. Now, how this drill works is you wanna set up with it back, keep it back, keep it back. So at setup position, if I just stood straight up and down like so, I need to have some tilt. So watch how my head will go away from the target as I add tilt or side bend. And what I'm doing is getting my right shoulder closer to my right hip. So that's the first thing that tilts my head away from the target. The more tilt I have at setup, the easier it is gonna to be to hit up on it. The less tilt I have, the more I'm gonna hit down. I like anywhere from about seven to 10 degrees of tilt if you were to measure it. The long drive players would have the most tilt. They hit up on the ball the most and they hit the ball the farthest. Okay, so seven to 10 degrees. What that means is if you take your setup position, put your hands on your quads, just let your fingertips go down a little bit on your right side as your right shoulder gets closer to your right 
a hip. Now, I don't want you bumping your hips forward. Keep your hips where they are. Just push the, the fingertips down a little bit so your head's gonna be slightly back at setup. So that presets me now about a hand width away from the object. Now, during the back swing, either I'd like you to keep your head where it's at or even I'd like to see about an inch uh, of movement to the right. So I wanna feel like my ear actually gets slightly closer to the object on the way back. Now, primarily how that's happening is through pressure in my feet. I'm gonna feel like it's set up my weights about 50-50. As I go back, I'm gonna feel like my ear gets closer to the noodle and I'm unweighting my left foot and increasing a little bit of weight on my right foot. So if we had like scales, weight scales, underneath my feet, let's say I'm 50-50, you would start to see the pressure going off my left foot and into my right foot as I start back. So it's gonna feel like you're probably 70-30 or so on the right towards the top. Now as I come down, the big mistake would be getting the ear forward of the noodle. Obviously the more forward I go, the more down I'm gonna hit. What I wanna feel is that my head stays back close to the noodle, I let the club head swing through, and my hips and weight are gonna push forward. So my head stays back, but my hips don't stay back with it. My head stays back, but my hips push forward. So as you start with, um, I'm gonna just start at what feels like about 60, 70% speed to show you what this looks like. So set up position. I like to see the golf ball inside the left heel. Depending upon the camera angle, you wanna get that pretty much underneath your um, left armpit. So the ball's forward, which helps. If the ball's back, it's hard to have my head behind the ball if the ball's back in my stance, right? So the ball's forward, not too far forward, underneath my armpit. My feet are just outside of shoulder width. My hands are inside left thigh, and my head's already behind the ball. So I'll always in my lessons draw a line up the golf ball and make sure that my head is preset behind it. Now as I go back during the backswing, I'm gonna feel like my ear gets closer to the noodle and as I start down, it's gonna feel like it stays back as my hips push forward. So I'll just do one at about 50, 60% speed. So I'm gonna add a little tilt at setup, feel my ear go to the right a little, and then stay back. And now what you're looking to see from there, that was probably 60, 70% speed for me, is a ball that's gonna go as far as normal or farther, like that swing that I swung 70%, I bet goes close to as far as my normal speed, and that's what you're gonna see. So once you start to ramp up the speed from 60 to 70 to 80 to 90 to your normal speed, that same speed with no more effort is gonna carry higher and travel farther, but start slow and build up. So ball's inside underneath the armpit. I like to tee the ball up where at least half of it's above the club head. I need some space between the ball and the ground, right, to help, to help uh, hit up. You could even go a little higher than that. Feet are uh, just outside shoulders, hands inside left thigh. I'm tilted at setup. Head's gonna work up and to the right, and then that's gonna stay back. Now, I'm not holding on to the club forever. I'm letting the club head sling through here. I wanna hit up on it. So tilted, push my head back, keep my head back. And that's hopefully what you're gonna see right away, which is the ball that goes much higher and carries much farther. So that's what I'd like you to practice, right? and I've been doing this a ton with people for a long time, that tee's too high, where you need to learn how to keep your head back. It starts with getting the setup position correct, and then during the backswing and the downswing, you have to get all three, but that's the mantra. I want my head more behind the ball, it'll automatically help me hit up on it. Let the club head sling past your hands, your hips push forward, but your head stays back. That's gonna help you ultimately hit more up on the golf ball hit the ball a lot farther with a lot less effort. So get those couple of pieces in, just put an object there or have a wall here by your ear where you can feel the same thing. Get a little bit off it on the way back and then stay off it on the way down. You can hit the ball a lot farther with a lot less effort. If you guys have any questions on this, as always, leave a comment down below.